When I stepped inside the female Earthling ship, I anticipated dark metal walls, strange high-pitched squeals, and freshly polished skulls displayed in trophy cases. But I was pleasantly surprised to see it was normal. Normal except for the life-sized painting of an Earth tree. The tree painting climbed the wall to my left and stretched far above my head. It was calming, and for a moment I imagined myself deep inside an earth forest. Unfortunately, the hall leading further into the ship held a bleaker reality. Galactic wanted posters. The female earthlings wanted posters, to be precise. Gnarled in some and twisted in others, she was often portrayed as a tall, hideous creature that exhaled poison and oozed toxic slime. Forked tongues and long fingers were popular as well, though one larger poster dressed her in a long cream robe with massive white wings, flaming red hair, and a glowing left hand. It was by far my favorite. Most of the universe feared her, but to me, the female earthling was an opportunity. Aside from hopefully helping me find a way to Earth, perhaps she could shed some light on questions we Jut Sulky pondered for years. Like, why do Earthlings cry? Are roller coasters supposed to be scary or fun? Sarcasm, in general. Look at them later, she said from down the hall. The female Earthling's words led me into a circular room dominated by one enormous wraparound window. It was the ship's cockpit. Lights, gauges, and sensors covered the walls as if someone closed their eyes and placed them at random. And three captain's chairs, each different than the other, stood at the center of it all. One green, one red, one yellow. The female earthling stood near the ship's controls, studying a small round monitor. Thank you for allowing me aboard, I said. I will help in any way I can. Then sit down and shut up. I dashed towards the green chair and quickly sat down as the female earthling flipped a switch on the wall. The cockpit shook violently and I fully expected the chair to break free from the floor. It's like riding a roller coaster, she said. I have never been on a roller coaster. Outside the ship's window, white gave way to heavy blue. The ship roared through the clouds and on towards the edge of space. My head vibrated, my stomach ached, and I was quite sure roller coasters were not supposed to be fine.